About 12 years ago, I built this with some scrap that was just in my junk bin. And this has been on our kitchen table for 12 years. And it's worked fine. There were no great measurements taken for this one. But it's certainly seen better days. And the angles were never great. The idea behind this one was to have a larger holder so that it could hold tablets as well as phones. And we've used it to hold a lot of phones to watch a lot of things. But it doesn't really lend itself real well for, for, for phone use. And it was time to upgrade this and make something a little bit more, a little more interesting. So I thought today would be a good idea, a good project for this afternoon to get out, set up the CNC, use some inexpensive pine, and make a little phone stand. This is our basic design here. The measurements here are for some dowel rods. I had a couple scrap dowels sitting in the shop. I won't get too into the tool paths for this because everybody's machine is different. But basically we're just doing a profile cut. We're going to cut around the outside. We'll leave some tabs in here so we can cut these out, sand them off. And then for the dowels here, we'll just drill those out as a pocket. We could make this cut go faster if we used a milling toolpath for these cutouts here. But for today, we'll just do a pocket for these. Are two identical end pieces. We've got some really nice through cuts here. You can see the tabs. And these worked out really, really well. Very clean. After a little bit of sanding, these actually can be used just as they are, <laughs> but we're going to attach these with the dowel rod. One side with the dowel rods. One cool thing about the CNC is it's just another tool in the shop. It's still fun to do the hand working for little projects like this. For the dowel rods, I was going to glue these in, but it's such a snug, tight fit that it didn't really seem necessary for this. So these are 
beautifully flush. CNC did a great job. And to tap those in, we made a little a little recess tool here so that we could kind of nail those in a little bit. And something I didn't even think about. This works really, really well for a cookbook stand. Sometimes projects work out in lots of interesting ways. I always keep these self-adhesive feet kind of sticky pads around and it works well for this. Gives it a finished look, keeps it a little more secure. And there we go. Fun project. Thanks very much for taking a look.